Oh, hey there. Welcome back to part three of Minotaur Transmuter. We're here with Ultraviolet 4. It's been a pretty hard fought run so far. We made it to D6 at the end of uh, episode two. So it's been pretty slow going so far, but we managed to get our first star of piety with our god, Wu Jiang. And if you're wondering what was going on just there, uh, there's a famous saying, it's, a minotaur who can catch a flyer with chopsticks can accomplish anything. Wasn't successful, so I guess we're probably going to die. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so our first star of piety with Wu Jian means that we have access to Whirlwind. If we have a look at our handy dandy diagram here. If you move between two tiles adjacent to an enemy, you will strike them as you move. The dizzying motion pins monsters in place for one turn. This is brand new, it's just been reworked. My understanding of pinning them in place for a turn is that it will prevent their first attempt at movement. So we'll have to see this in practice. I'm not sure if that means monsters will have a choice between attacking you or unsticking themselves, uh, but we'll see because if monsters always unstick themselves without attacking you, that's pretty amazing. It uh, means they're never going to attack you back. That sounds broken. But if, if they don't immediately unstick themselves, it means that you can also uh, reliably run away from them. We've got to be a bit careful because we know that there's a troll here on D6, which is absolutely terrifying. They can do 50 damage, which is enormous. Um, also... We have no arrows left. I wasted them all. We had so many arrows, I was like, we're never running out of arrows. And then I turned them all into snakes, and here we are. Against ogres, we want to be using um, uh, whatever this ability is called. Uh, what is it? Spider form. Uh, let's, let's test it out. So I'm assuming we can still whirlwind stuff as a spider. You spin and attack the ogre. Okay, so there is no tile to indicate that a monster's been stuck. If we step away now... Okay, that seems to be... Okay, he's just sitting there. He got stuck for ages. Okay, he hit us. Alright. That's really hard to tell because there's no icon for being stuck. And um, maybe I should make and submit one. Uh, but he seemed to be stuck there for a good two turns every time after... I whirlwinded him. So this might be really, really good now. Hmm. Alright, whites are immune to poison, so a lot of our spider shenanigans won't work here. But we still may as well. We get 8 extra evasion out of it, as well as... Uh, what's the other thing? Uh, extra damage. That's the other one. Let's test. So we whirlwinded. Now let's walk away. Okay, so he got stuck for one turn. Uh, that seems pretty good. It means that you can reliably escape from every monster as long as you're willing to whirlwind them first. Uh, that's how I understand it. Or at least, so this whirlwind, I had to whirlwind into him. So now I, I couldn't escape. But say we whirlwind away from him. Yeah, every time he gets then stuck for a turn, so we can reliably run away from him. So say we do meet the troll, as long as we take, and he's adjacent to us, as long as we're willing to take one attack, we can make a gap. That's pretty amazing. Literally whirlwinding, literally dying and getting drained. <laughs> Alright, uh, well I guess in that case we may as well be whirlwinding, right? Uh, because if we decide we ever want to run, then we get a gap. Uh, this is one of the things that the devs wanted to prevent Whirlwind from doing when it first got reworked. Uh, and that is to completely break the tab button. Because uh, against one enemy, they said it shouldn't be optimal to just always Whirlwind. Because then you're going to get uh, a lot of tedium because you're, you're going to have to manually move every single time you fight without ever using tab. 
Uh, but it looks like that's what they've done again here. Oh man, he ran an engine on top of us. Alright, well this is what we were talking about. Um, but we can't really whirlwind him. Without walking into him. What do we do? Um, we can. We can whirlwind him. Okay, so then we have the gap now. So now we can just leave him here and go back downstairs. Okay, so that, that is... Oh, you ran him engine again! Why? Oh man, this troll. This troll, literally a troll. Trolling very hard right now. Alright, he fell back. Let's just go downstairs. we got to X that out. We don't want to go up there for a while yet. Oh, we lunged him. Sick. I was like, what? What? How did you die? Uh, he, he hadn't noticed us. We actually snuck up on him and then lunged him for the bonus damage. Gonna read the scroll. It's blinking. We waste it. That's okay. Any additional ones we find now will have the ability to blink. But yeah, so... It doesn't... It might not seem on the face of it like it's optimal to be whirlwinding every time. Uh, so when it first got introduced, when you whirlwinded, you had the, the chance to slow enemies. So even in a 1v1, you may as well always do it. But here, if you're sticking them, I mean, you're not doing extra bonus damage, but it's still, I would say, optimal because um, it means that you can run away anytime. I'm just thinking, it just occurred to me, maybe you only have to stick them once and then you can tab. Let's try that out. First, let's ID these potions, look. Agility. Oh, I really... We have curing now, okay. I really want to lunge him, it's not going to work. Okay, so we can... We stuck him. I should step away, and while he gets unstuck, then we can cast our beastly appendage. Alright. Let's see, so we stuck him, now I do a tab. Okay, never mind, we killed him. Alright, so I go to experiment where I, I whirlwind something, and then I tab, and then I walk away. Uh, this would be a lot easier just with a visual indication for something being stuck. Alright, so we've got a bunch of different artifact things here. Um, I don't really want any of them. An artifact hand crossbow might be interesting, but I feel like it's not really with the theme of the run. I mean, Minotaurs are great at crossbows, so yeah, it just crossbow doesn't feel that an injury. Alright, so we stick him, we we'll tab him once, and we kill him. Never mind. Keep reading scrolls. Noise and... Alright, let's try this one. I <laughs> can't do it, we just kill things too quickly. Potions of brilliance. Alright, he's stuck. We tabbed him, and now if we move away, he's not stuck. So, okay. So it seems like... The whirlwind literally just sticks them for one turn, regardless of whether they move or not. In which case it is, I would say, optimal to whirlwind every attack, even in a 1v1. So yeah. I think the devs have broken the tab button again. I was kind of hoping that these reworks that they've just done would um, maybe be the changes that would get Wujian into stable release, but I don't think with a broken tab button it will ever be acceptable to the devs. Ah, oh, well, we'll see. Let's test again. Now, mind. As soon as I hit tab, we just <laughs> we just kill it. Yeah, that is how it works. So I whirlwind, and I tab, and I move away, and they're not stuck. Alright, uh, I want to go into spider form against the wizard. What? How did we lunge? He wasn't distracted though, was he? 
Can you just lunge at all enemies? Is that... Am I misunderstanding? Because lunge used to just work. No, but there are times we've walked... We've stepped into enemies. Because my... Lunge initially only worked on enemies that were either slowed or distracted. But that... There are times here where we've... We've lunged at enemies and that were distracted and we didn't get lunge. And that time we got the lunge even though... That enemy was definitely awake. Not sure. Playing this god for the first time, I'm not really 100% sure how it works, and it seems to be a bit funky. Uh, let's be a, a spider. So the cool thing here, uh, well first of all, uh, we want to get away from this centaur. The cool thing is that we can Oh man, we're a spider and we're against a scorpion. We need to uh, not be getting poison while we're vulnerable to poison. Yeah, but yeah, so the whirlwind allows us to cleave our attacks back there. Let's not starve to death. Come on. I'm trying to let him in so that we could start lunging stuff, uh, like cleaving. Hey, we've got arrows again. How many? 21 arrows. Okay. I'll try not to waste them all. I immediately hit the wrong macro and wasted one. Damn it. Okay, so we lunge there. Uh, this hornet zombie is just killing us. Um, we should get on the stair so we can go back up without actually dying. Alright, good. That was scary. Shows you if that's just the hornet zombie, shows how scary um, a hornet is uh, when it's also poisoning you, slowing you, and potentially paralyzing you. Oh, hey, we got it. Let's see, we've got new scrolls, um, enchant armor. None of these is really good, in fact. I think we probably will should go to the leather armor, so let's do that. Put the leather armor on. Spider form is 12%, that's fine. Uh, speaking of which, yeah, poison magic is about to turn off. So in a sec, we'll start training some translocations to get blink going. Alright, cool. Uh, some things we can buy here. Uh, Wand of Paralysis, Wand of Ice Blast are both very useful. Uh, two Wands of Paralysis. Uh, they're the two best things here. I think I will pick up Yeah, I think I'll pick up both of them. So this is another new change. Uh, wands have just been reworked um, So Wands always Will tell you how many charges they have um, You don't have to ID them anymore, but Rem uh, not remove, recharging scrolls have been removed from the game. So uh, you always know how many charges you have. If you ever run out of charges on a wand, it gets destroyed. And any additional copies of wands you find will add their charges. So this is good and bad. Um, and we've lost wands of confusion and we've lost wands of lightning. Uh, so it's good that one stacking is really amazing. Uh, thank you devs, because you now no longer have to walk around with three different acid ones and so on. Um, I don't like the whole not being able to recharge ones anymore and losing recharging scrolls. I already am really uh, reluctant to train evocations, uh, but I think this means that you're more correct to be more like me. <laughs> As in, there are some players who say you should always uh, train evocations every single game. Uh, I'm not one of those, although I do admit that it's usually, it's due more to personal preference that I don't love training evocations, rather than saying that evocations is bad. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong macro. I'm actually just going to get rid of the sticks to snakes macro because I keep hitting it. I'm going to make this 
be spider form instead, and I'm going to manually cast snakes. Or in fact, why don't I make a macro that's really far away, like the 5 key or something. So I'm not going to accidentally hit 5, why shouldn't? Changing plans, I'm going to make it F1. Alright, there we go. Did I do it? Okay. Alright, good. So yeah, um, first of all, you don't find confusion ones, which is a really strong reason to want to train confusion, uh, train invocations in the early game. Um, but also, without recharging, uh, you really can't spam ones as much, particularly the um, the higher level ones. So another really good reason to train evocations is if you found a wand of clouds. Uh, because you could get the more powerful clouds and you just keep recharging it to continually use it. But you find one, maybe two wands of clouds in a game, which means in this new no recharging system, you might get six charges total if you're lucky. Are you going to train evocation skill to use one of clouds six times? I don't know. I'm probably not. So yeah, uh, new ones. Let's ID this potion, its mutation, and this read this scroll, its fear. Uh, jelly. Uh, I'm not too afraid of a jelly. We should be well winding though. Oh man, I forgot! Five keys rest! <laughs> oh my god. I'm not gonna accidentally hit five, no, but I'm gonna intentionally hit it all the time. Oh god, okay, we need to clear that macro. Can we rest? Without wasting my arrows. <laughs> it's so dumb. Oh god, I think I am actually role playing a Minotaur in real life for this playthrough. What do we got here? Plus three ring of evasion is nice. Um, we've got. Oh, this is an Earth. Oh, everything starts with E. Okay, so we've got a Wand of Enslavement. It's really good. I'm going to mark that. Uh, and we've got a Book of Earth along with a Staff of Earth and a Manual of Earth Magic. That's a lot of gold, but putting all those together is pretty sweet. What's in a Book of Earth? Statue form. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's very good to know. Statue form is a very, very good spell for a transmuter. So I think that's something we might want. Excellent. Okay, well that's exciting. Particularly if we get thousands of gold, if we could have the Book of Earth Magic along with the Manual of Earth Magic, that would make training it a lot easier. Uh, so that's that's really good. How many arrows do we have left? 16. Oh boy. For these enemies like whites or ghosts, hungry ghosts that are immune to poison. I'm still using spider form because of the bonus damage and the fact that uh, it makes us more evasive so they're less likely to be just making us lose all our food. Speaking of which, I'm just gonna butcher and eat that ogre as we're fighting. Alright, we got transmutations poison to four, that's turned off. Let's learn translocations. I'm gonna put a skill target for probably two points and that's just to get blink castable it's at 32 percent at the moment which in a life or death situation is a little bit low for comfort <laughs> oh so we lunged at that that guy was definitely awake all right i just i don't understand how lunge works seems like i'm gonna, I'm gonna test it but it seems like you can just lunge at anything at any time There's Psyche. Uh, she has a Dagger of Chaos, uh, which, if you're unlucky, can paralyze or banish you. So we got to go away from her and X that out. If we can get her from range, we can try to use our newly found ones on her. Yeah, in addition to uh, making us manually move every time instead of attacking, um, we also lose our 
ability to stop fighting when we drop below a certain amount of health. Um, so yeah, can't say. Oh, large shield. No, we can't do that. That's crazy. Well, maybe we could. Maybe, maybe in the future we can go to. I don't know about a large shield, but certainly a shield. Um, if because we know we have statue form now, and with statue form you do get to keep your shield. It's just it would be a long way off because our um, intermediary forms such as uh, we should learn this. Um, oh, at some point we picked up the book of summoning, so we have summon lightning spire. Um, I'm not going to do that though. Uh, I would say even on a dumb minotaur, uh, summon lightning spire is so good that you probably should just learn it all the time. Um, but I want to get where is it? Ice form. Yes, learn it. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I was an invisible wizard there. I wonder if we can whirlwind things when we're moving confusedly. I'm gonna guess no. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we we just walked into it. Okay, so we've got. Oh, we didn't learn it. Right, we got punched and then confused. Memorize ice form. Yep, yeah, it's on C. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. All right. So we can't use it yet. It's at 63% chance to fail. We'll have to train some ice magic. Uh, but that's a really good form to learn after we've got uh, blink a little bit safer. I've just noticed as well that we've made it to two pips of piety. So we've got, uh, what do we have? Wall jump. Okay, let's test out wall jump. Um, nothing's happening. You can perform airborne attacks by moving against a solid obstacle. Okay, yeah, I did it there. Oh, okay, it's jumping two tiles? Is that how I'm to understand it? Yeah, okay, alright, so I couldn't use it, but I can't use it here. Okay, you need to have a space of three tiles wide to use it, it looks like. Okay, and so it's slow. Alright, it's like moving, so it goes one and one. So it's basically, you can't use it to escape anymore. Because if I'm here and I wall jump down, I move two tiles, but it takes me two turns. So it's like it's like just running away. Okay, so I see how they've rebalanced that. So you can flip around like a ninja all the time if you want, uh, but it's no longer um, an escape, as in a free escape all the time. All right, Pikel. Um as long as he doesn't have a wand, we can probably just fight him. I should take him up though, so that um, all his, his bros aren't around. Okay, good. I was going to say, we spin an attack. Uh, I, I wasn't 100% sure if that would uh, poison him. And actually, let's, let's test lunge now. So, because we get to move away while he's um, stuck, now can we just lunge him? Okay, you can. So it seems like I understand here. It's going for some synergy where you whirl in and lunge stuff all the time. Okay, so I get it now. They don't have to be uh, distracted anymore. You can just lunge anything by walking towards it. So that's cool. That makes, I guess that makes the combat a little more interesting. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's, that's much more like being a ninja, I guess, rather than just walking around monsters. Let's get spider form now. He's a mighted centaur. Um, in this case, so I did stick him, and I gotta remember. Someone remind me, Ultra, make submit an icon for being stuck. Um, I think I, he can still shoot. So if I step away from him to try to lunge him now. Um, he'll shoot us with a, with his bow, which I don't want, so... Oh yeah. 
Yeah, okay, makes sense. Let's see. Okay, so we jumped over him. And we repeatedly attack the null from above. What's cool about that is that um, we get... It didn't tell us. It looks like we... No, we didn't launch that one. Okay. So we repeatedly attack the null from above. Hmm. My understanding now is that because lunge takes two, sorry, war jump takes two turns to do, you should get two t turns worth of attacks when you do it. So we should be attacking multiple times. This shop has a ruined ring mail is potentially the best thing there. Uh, actually gloves as well. We don't have any gloves. Yep, so that would represent an extra AC. Okay. Yeah, I don't really... I don't really understand this whole wall jumping thing. I guess it's because first you must learn stand, then learn fly. I haven't figured out lunge yet. <laughs> All right, uh, this looks bad. Uh, the the walls are faster than us, um, and particularly we don't want to be running, getting run down while Grum's hitting us. Okay, but actually this is not too bad because it's kind of like a kill hole here where only one of them can see us at a time. Alright. Mm -hmm. I'm not so confident anymore. Um, also, I should just check, I'm not entirely sure, yeah, when we're a spider we can't use wands, so I can't use paralysis. Uh, you can always end transformation by looking at your ability menu. Uh, double wolves. Alright, so we're back. Let's see if we can paralyze one. It's about a 50-50 chance. Okay, yeah, we can fight them like this. And again. Okay, yeah, just fighting them as a spider form uh, seems to not really be working. Alright, but we did it. Thank you, Wand. And that's our, our no evocations training, Wand of Paralysis, which is still pretty good. Hey, Arrows. Hmm, I'm trying to think. I'm going to try a wall jump here that is not going to land on him, but is kind of like whirlwinding past him. See if it does anything. Nothing. We just, uh, we took a shot, so that, yeah, was not good. Pew. This is sick, though. I do like this idea that you, you whirlwind past something, you stick it in place, and then you lunge into it to kill it. Like, that's, that's a pretty cool sequence. It's, it's breaking the tab button. But I take it back, it's breaking it in a way that's kind of interesting. Like you, you're doing something a bit more um, a bit more interesting than just walking around monsters. Alright, let's keep going. D9. We could have seen Lair on that floor, but we didn't. Um, I wonder if we could fight a troll now. We actually probably could because we can paralyze it. Alright, let's see if we can get a deal with these orcs. And then I'll see if we can snag a troll leather armor. It's on D5, I think. We left it. Is this, yep, the trolls are on here somewhere. I'm gonna go Shift X, Control F to forget the floor, and we'll just, oh, hello troll, you're immediately next to us. Um, I thought I'd whirlwinded you, but apparently not. Okay, now we can paralyze. Good, all right. Good, uh, no troll of the armor, never lucky. Shift X, control U to undo. And then back to the dungeon. If you just wanna to go to the lowest floor of a branch that you found, um, so when I did that, I did go, then I did D, and then I used the dollar sign 
um, yeah, dollar means lowest floor that you know. Okay, round two with this troll. We actually got him this time. We may as well be poisoning him. And again, never lucky. Who's a orc warrior? Uh, okay, I thought we would have launched in there. Apparently we didn't. Uh, we still have a lot of HP. It, we ran him energy loss there. It doesn't look like it, but... Uh, yeah, we went one hit from dying there because Minotaur has good HP. And I knew there was a Hippogriff there. I should have transformed before coming down. And let's see, we got translocations to 2. Blink is at 13%. I think I'd like it to be just slightly lower, so let's take it to three. And then reassess. Once we've got it to three, we can do some ice magic. <laughs> yeah, this does a ninja spider. It's pretty cool. You don't want to be a ninja spider against the scorpion there. Pew. 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 Okay, the double-headed ogre is adjacent to us. Um, that's too scary. Let's use our 13% blink to see if we can get away. We miscast it, we get whacked. This is why we miscast it again. Why does the game do this? <laughs> uh, but this is exactly why, here it is in the flesh, why I just said I want to get it lower than a 13% chance to fail. Because when you really need it, um, it doesn't work. All right, so we got away. Now we can be a spider. I think as a spider we could probably fight him. Particularly if we... Okay, never mind. Uh, if he random energies us here, we, we could die. Uh, it was kind of dumb, I guess, lunging back in. Uh, when I could have just walked away. Uh, blink is worse. Yeah, it's a 26% chance to fail while we're as a spider. So we're really just hoping he doesn't random energy and then just kill us. Which could happen. Uh, also, what's really bad is I'm going to hit the wall here, and then um, if I, so I'm here, so from seeing the ogre where it takes, the ogre that we fought before, where it takes two turns to wall jump, I think if I wall jump, he gets to hit us. The problem is, if I move left here, he also gets to hit us. So, what can we do? Um... Hope that we don't fail a 26% chance to blink. Because um, we have we have a fear scroll, but two-headed ogres have decent MR, which means there's a decent chance that he just ignores our fear. Um, I think we hope we don't just fail blink again and die. Okay, fingers crossed. Okay, we actually we got away. Alright, that's good. Where did he go? Oh, okay. Now we can just uh, we need to end our transformation. Now we can see if we can ice blast him down. Good. All right, that was uh, really scary. Thank you, game, for the double thirteen percent blink miscast. Let's read this scroll. Uh, we've got more potions to do. Cancellation. Okay. Cool. Part of that is my fault in that I shouldn't have lunged him. I should have just. Uh, Use the gap that I created to um, probably just ice blast one him. Hey, we can hit both of them by cleaving. Sick. Um, I also want to check that upstairs, the hatch, I mean. Hello, monkeys. Um, I'll take one up with me, but I don't really want to be fighting those guys when there's a centaur at f max distance uh, shooting us with his arrows I want those arrows, I don't want any of those to get mulched I don't know if monsters mulch arrows oh hey he didn't shoot us <laughs> I shouldn't have lunged him either 
uh, a basilisk. Okay. Uh, there's a good chance that he just. Okay, he did not. Um, and an elephant. Okay, so this has got to be our left floor. But there's a good chance that he could have turned us to stone there. I'm glad that he didn't. Alright. Elephant. Can we do our lunge strats? Again, especially that last lunge there was probably unnecessary. Because um, he was already poisoned. Um, and likely to die to it. So by lunging in, rather than just running away to let him tick out, I think that was incorrect. And the Hydra. Uh, we are not ready to fight Hydras yet. Maybe if we had Ice Form. Uh, let's just shut that door. He's now trapped in there. And as long as we don't open that door, he's never getting out. Maybe when we're stronger and we want to figure out what that potion is, uh, we can come back. Uh, we really don't want to fight the Basilisk with the bear as well. Oh no, we're slowing down. We could Cancellation out of this without only one. We could also quaff an Agi, which I think I might do. We could also end the transformation. The problem here, when you get um, petrified, uh, you lose your evasion. Mm, but you get extra AC. But I don't know that you get extra AC as a spider. Um, but we will lose our evasion. So uh, I think I'm going to quaff an Agi. And then end our transformation. Okay, we've turned to stone. We really don't get much bonus AC at all. We only got two. Although, I think we just killed him by headbutting him. Did we really? No, the basilisk was poisoned, so he just ticked out to it. Okay. Uh, we'll go spider again. Uh, he's. Okay, well, we just killed him. I was going to say, he was whirlwinded on that last attack there. And when they go angry and nearly die. They uh, they berserk. So I was thinking, while he's whirlwinded, we'll just casually walk away and go back upstairs before he berserked. But he just died. That was kind of him. Um, no, I don't want to be a spider. These guys can confuse you and go invis. Mm, I was gonna say we can maybe paralyze him. It's only a 38% chance to work. He's got a ring on. That I can't remember what the chances on a vampire normally are. I feel like they're normally higher. So I think there's a good chance that he's wearing a ring of magic resistance. Well, let's be a spider. Let's take him upstairs. And Okay, we're now confused. We've got two potions of curing. It's just vampires are really dangerous because of their vampiric bite. If we could just get downstairs again, okay, sweet. We got to save our our potion of curing. I should X that out just so we don't run up nearly dead and then meet the the vampire again. It would be good to get his ring though, particularly if it is MR. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like we're not. We're not really capable of that yet. We're leaving a bunch of things around. There's a there's a Hydra here. There's a Vampire up there. I was going to start singing Play School, but you Americans and other people probably don't know that. Uh, we have a... We have a children's show called Play School. And the thing is, there's a bear in there. And a chair as well. Anyway. Uh, you probably don't have that, but it's like, basically, um, any time it was on TV, you'd expect it to be back to back with Sesame Street. So you have your play school, then you have your Sesame Street, or vice versa. Uh, but the cool thing about play school, um, I don't know, maybe this isn't really cool, but they get celebrities to be like guests on the show. And they come in and read children's books and stuff. So it's like you know, you know how there's 
I think it's a Saturday Night Live segment where Christopher Walken is reading a children's book. Imagine it's like that, but it's play school. And it's not Christopher Walken because it's crappy Australian celebrities. But still, it's the idea that counts. Alright, we found a scarf. Uh, let's see what that is. Uh, we do have Remove Curse, but I guess it doesn't really matter because no scars will be bad. We won't have a cloak anyway. Cloud Immunity, hooray. I think this is usually a fairly um, unimpressive item. But we don't have anything else, so that's okay. Um, my first experience fighting a two-headed ogre taught me that I want nothing more to do with them. So we're going to go back upstairs, and here's a gargoyle, which we managed to kill by... First of all, I think I accidentally lunged him <laughs> as I was running away. And then as we ran away again, we um, whirlwinded him. So that was pretty sick. Thank you, Wujian. Accidentally killing the gargoyle there. Uh, the reason I'm not going into lay yet is because I like to do at least D10 and then usually at least check out D11 before doing that. We reached 3 piety. We... Okay. We now can Serpent Slash. Um, so it's had its piety and exhaustion costs lowered. Um, time to see if, how spammable if this is. If this is really spammable, um, I think Wu Jian has just become a, f a fair bit stronger with its recent reworks. What this does is it lets you do two turns at once, uh, like two instant turns. So they can be two moves away to reliably escape from something. They can be two attacks. And if you do martial attacks, you get 40% um, bonus damage, and they cannot miss. Tells you there, they never miss. Um, so that's really cool. I wonder what that means with wall jump. So wall jump is now slow, as in it gives you... It takes two turns to wall jump, but I wonder if that counts as one move one instant move for Serpent Slash that would let you get two turns worth of attacks off and then you could do another one. So if you had a three tile wild, wild hallway, could you get a Serpent Slash that gave you four turns worth of attacks instantly? Uh, if so, that sounds pretty good to me. Especially having four instant attacks that can never miss and do 40% bonus damage sounds Pretty good. What is it? our lunge keeps our lunges keep missing? Uh, a wand of digging. Okay, that's good. I was just I checked to see do we have recharging soils? No, because they've been removed. So yeah, no recharging on your wands of digging either. But they do all stack now. Uh, there's scatter shot. Let's try a wall jump. Okay, so you definitely do get two turns worth of attacks there. Yaks. I think if we're fighting those one at a time as a spider, we can fight yaks. Mm, maybe. Translocations to three. As a spider, it's still kind of scary. But um, if we're not in a spider, it's okay, I think. So I'm going to turn on ice magic. And set a skill target for that. What have I done? That's not a skill target. Um, let's say we might need five points of ice magic. <laughs> Man, we haven't even made it. We've been training spell casting the whole game, and we still haven't even made it to five points. Feels minotaur, man. Um, I don't think I can lunge it here. No, it seems like you have to be moving right onto it. So as in either going diagonally into it or straight onto it. If you go from here to there, I think you don't lunge at this test. No, you don't. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. But it makes sense that we can check for sure. Yeah, that one's ticking out, so we'll just walk away. Um... I could just shut the door on him. Also, we can get a lunge here. Bam. 
I'm actually, I'm not convinced that lunge does bonus damage. I thought that was the case, but... Oh, I did an improper one. Uh, I shouldn't be doing that. I was like, hell yeah, we can... Uh, we can cleave them both. Uh, while, while cleaving with the unarmed attacks is really nice, um, we're pretty low on HP, so that was not good. Uh, let's ID this wizard robe. It's a plus two robe that gives plus four int, our leck and plus stealth. That's definitely better than a plus one leather armor. Sweet. The plus int helps us out quite a bit too. Brings ice forward down to 30% to fail. Nice. This looks like it might be our um, orc entrance fault. It's funny when I accidentally lunge stuff or when I'm not expecting it. So I'm just tabbing into something and then we lunge. Do not want to take the hatch up because we've left a hydra on that floor. We might take the hatch into the hydra room. And that would just be a bad time for everyone. Alright, that's D11. That was, it wasn't our orc entrance, just a bunch of orcs. Um, check our shopping list. We could just go buy the gloves for an extra AC. Is that worth? Or is it worth waiting? I guess the one extra AC isn't a huge deal, particularly because we're f we're fighting. Oh God, yawning. We're fighting a lot in spider form, which means we don't have our gloves anyway. I think I'd rather save for the Book of the Earth. For statue form, which I don't have on the shopping list, and I have never figured out how to put things from on the shopping list from here. Yeah, what else can we do? Nothing. Travel or view. I think once I think you actually have to physically be at the shop to put it on your shopping list. Um, I should. No, I'm not gonna forget. But I want to know how much it is. It's only 800 gold, so actually... Uh, it's not very high. The Earth Magic manual is high, though. Alright, so I guess we'll save our gold. Our uh, Wand of Enslavement is pretty good. Seeing as we only have three Paralysis... Yeah, okay, let's just do that. Let's buy the Wand of Enslavement. I back and forth about 10 times here. Should we get the gloves? Should we save our gold? Should we get the gloves? Nah. No, we'll save our gold. Now mine in Slaver Wand. <laughs> Feeling, oh, hey, there's an Ambrosia there. And a glowing robe. Oh, that's Psyche. Oh, okay, because we left Pikel's slaves running around. They killed Psyche for us. Sweet. Uh, we may as well see what her glowing robe is then. I was going to say, if it's magic resistance, I might prefer that. It makes our spells harder to cast. But makes us less hexable. Um, I think your MR going into lair isn't that important. Um, so why don't we? I think this is where we left the vampire. Yeah. Well, we've got MR on. Why don't we go fight the vampire? His chance to confuse us is now only fourteen percent, and then. If this is an MR ring, which I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay, sweet. <laughs> so it's like we're trading one MR item for another one. Uh, but, okay, so now we can put the other road back on, uh, which gives us gives us more AC, gives us RLEC, and uh, gives us extra int. All right, that's cool. If I ever see a cold enemy, we can always put the protection from cold ring on. All right. I guess we should maybe stop this one here. Um, so we've done up to D10. Let's just check out D11. I like to start um, exploring D11 just to see what it's like and if it's scary leaving and then we can go into lair. So if you join me in the next one, that's what we'll do. We'll definitely be going into lair and we might even be getting ice form castable. See you then.